All Tribal Students Union Manipur at some and its affiliated associations warns of economic blockage and demand for issuance of ADC elections notification latest by March 11th. Manipur Lok Refugee confirmed cases of COVID-19 cases. Four persons recovered in the last 24 hours, taking recovery toll to 28,884. Death toll remains at 373. And India locked 18,327 new COVID-19 cases in 24 hours, a rising tally above 1 crore 11 lakh 92,000. Recovery rate dropped below 97%. Kurumjari, good evening. You are watching Saturday Prime Time English Bulletin on Impact News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with you. Before we begin, Impact News would like to make an appeal to all our viewers that to stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your face marks properly and maintain a safe distance while stepping outside from your homes or workplaces. Remember, these three simple precautions are all that it takes to defeat the pandemic. Now the top stories. Village Defence Force VDF observed its 12th raising day at the state level today. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Nongtumambirain praised BDF personnel for their contributions and assured of necessary welfare projects for them. BDF Welfare Association Manipur organized the event at the auditorium of Manipur State Firm Development Society. Chief Minister Nbirain acknowledged that salary of BDF personnel is not in sync with their contributions and assured that the government will consider what can be done for their welfare. He warned higher ranking officers not to treat VDA personnel as their helpers or private personnel. Biren also appealed to VDA personnel to discharge their duty with discipline and to extend necessary cooperation in ensuring better police and public ties. <laughs> Training and a PV Abra, Arara, Santok Shira, Kramai, Tokoki, the way, but yes, the Puna Mudu, a panel and a habit are in the home. I go and give you the Madurai, my young Panama Potu Toke. Tired of higher ranking of research in the video, since my rooms have the same heavy away. I mobile number, how to Ramirava. Can I can I take a leg? I can I officer the car, a quick gas, who is a top with her put in. Must see, I think it's a good idea. Video the worry, but no, you know. I am worried, but I don't know what I'm doing. 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 I do Chief Minister N. Bibane also appealed to stop challenging the government by forming associations. He called upon various government departments to discharge their responsibilities with commitment and shunned the culture of cease work strike in the event of tracing their demands. He stressed on the need to maintain a mutual understanding between the government and various associations for the betterment of the state. BDF personnel submitted a memorandum raising various demands to the chief minister on the occasion. Efficient VDF personnel were felicitated at the event. Association phone to the government is bargaining to the government. I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know all tribal students are union Manipur at some and its affiliated associations have warned of economic blockage and demand for issuance of ADC elections and notification latest by March 11th. And some an apex body of Naga and Kuki students bodies held its general assembly meeting 2021 to 22 and it took various resolutions yesterday. Tankul Katam Nau Saklon TKS hosted the meeting at the indoor stadium of Bakshi Ground in Ukru. At some warned of a 24 hours a total shutdown in the hill district by March 12 midnight, followed by economic blockade if government failed to announce the ADC election dates. 
The student body also urged the state government to reopen schools for lower classes and oppose any policy or intention by the state education department to change the academic cal calendar in Manipur similar to the CBAC. House of the Travels a Students Apex body further urged the government to continue with the traditional February to December academic calendar in Manipur. During the meeting, Atsum and all its affiliated units reaffirmed to oppose the ST status demand by the Mite and Maite community. They also demanded to carry out delimitation exercise in Manipur at the earliest based on 2001 census under the existing Delimitation Act. Government uh, and some the tribal people sing on the promised Oramba within the month of April, the election process, Loerega, new government, ADC new government installed the Ogani High Basin. Practical in the Puto Pirega, election in notifications to Piro. If the election notification of ADC Autonomous District Council is not notified by 11, the old tribal students, as, along with all the civil societies of the Hill District, will go for 24 hours total shutdown from the midnight of 12 March and will be followed by indefinite economic blockade. Chief Minister Nongtaman Biren announced to provide pension to Amaiba, Amaibi, Arangpam, Pungartitians and singers who are above the age of 60 years. He made the announcement at the oath-taking ceremony of him as the new president of Lining Tau Sanamahi Temple Board, Hayeng Kongban Ufong Makong today. Speaking on the occasion, N. Biren said, a community cannot be made known to the world without preserving one's own religion. He espoused to preserve our religion and culture. He aided necessary arrangements are underway by the officials concerned to construct a road leading to shrine at the earliest. Raisa Sabha MP Tutila King Vaisemba Sanajawa also attended the event. First board meeting of Lining Tau Sanamahi Temple Board, LSTV, was also held after the oath taking ceremony. Two minute silence was observed as a mark of respect the meeting. Some of the resolutions are to increase LSTV annual budget, to extend present complex, and to include Lining Tau Sanamahi Sanglin as a tourist destination. Raisa Sabha MP Leisemba Sanajawa has claimed that the BJP will stay in power at centre and state for another at least 10 years. He was speaking at the foundation laying ceremony of a community hall at Haubam Marak Oinam Laikai Point in Imphal West District yesterday. Leisemba Sanajawa urged people of Kishantong Assembly constituency to elect an eligible and worthy can candidate in the upcoming election to bring greater developments. He also stressed on the significance of a community hall for holding events. Act E policy convener R.K. Sivachandra, Solar Union President Salam Bhuvan Mite, local clubs and Mela Paibis members took part in the event. <laughs> Raisa Sabha MP and titular King Leisemba Sanajawa has assured of urging the state government to recommend inclusion of a Mite Mite community in the scheduled tribe list of the Indian constitution. Representatives of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, led by President Dhirat Yamnam, held an almost in one hour meeting on the matter with Leisemba Sanajawa on March 4. Speaking on the sidelines, Dhirat Yamnam said Raisa Sabha MP Sanajawa has shown keen interest in the matter and has pointed out that inclusion of Maite Mite community in the scheduled tribe list requires recommendation by the state government. He said the Tutela King has assured them of urging the state government to send recommendation to the centre at the earliest. They have said their, their movement in demands for enlisting of Maite Mite community in the central tribe list was hindered by the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak and is short of continuing their movement once the pandemic subsides.
Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization has accused the Minority Affairs Department of Sightlining a Meite Pangal community. Press release from MMWO accuses the department of failing to initiate welfare projects for the minority community and warns of protests against the same. Chairman Forum of Six ADC Manipur appealed the state government to conduct autonomous district council ADC election of six hill districts. Forum coordinator, come chairman of ADC Okro, Dr. Yaran So Ngalung, warned of democratic form of protests if government fail to set date for the election within one week. Speaking to media during a press meet held at ADC Bhavan Sangakam today, Dr. Yaronso said failure of government to make ADCs at Hill districts function properly has hindered the development pace. He added announcement was made to conduct ADC election during Manipur Legislative Assembly meeting on October 8 last year. He said the state cabinet also decided to conduct the election during their meeting held on November 10th last year and January 25th of this year. Following failure to conduct election for a long time on March 2nd, High Court of Manipur also notified to conduct the election at the earliest. Dr. Yaronso appealed to Hill Area Committee and Hill MLAs to apprise to authorities concerned to conduct the election at the earliest for the welfare of the Hill districts. He termed the statement made by Movement for People's Rights Forum Manipur that funds sanctioned under Fort Finance Commission were misappropriated by ADCs of Hill, Six Hill districts as baseless. He aided proper infrastructures were implemented in Hill districts under 14 Finance Commission. He termed allegation towards ADCs even after completion of 14th Commission and commencing of first phase of 15th Finance Commission as dirty politics. He further termed failure to allow functioning of ADCs when second phase of 5th Finance Commission is about to begin as unfortunate. The all honorable ADC members of 6 ADCs of Manipur have unanimously resolved to initiate democratic process to fulfill the aspirations of the tribal people if the government of Manipur fails to announce the date of election to 6 ADC within one week time. Ado Manipur government ki policy ni hai ra. Go to the hills, go to the village hai ra ka. Akwe ki ADC ki si function to hondra de. Go to his kaicha, go to village kaicha ka tumno. Village ka hills ki aaching to mayam lady bani ado na. Akwe ki appeal to zaning bani, appeal to zaning bani. Government of Manipur as well as akwe ki concern hills committee ko na so pata na seriously to ra ka. Akwe ki tribal ki MLA mayam so they should take seriously regarding our appeal. Not that they akwe ni ching the accusation chatha rani akwe. Come a member secretary of Manipur Science and Technology Council, Mastic, Mongjum Joy said our state will develop only when he strives to be a skillful individual and make oneself self reliant. He was speaking at the valedictory event of a six day skill development training program on processing of different value aided fruits and vegetables, spices, and soy milk products organized by. Manipur Science and Technology Council Mastic Imphal at Mastic Complex Takilpad today. Speaking further, Mongjam Joy said various training programs are being held under the AGs of the central government to make the youths of the state skillful and self reliant. He said funds sanctioned in relation with skilled development programs will never go to waste as it will provide jobs to youths. Speaking regarding the training program held under the AGs of Mastic, Mongjum Joy is sure to lengthen food processing and training programs in future in view of the complaints that organizing a food processing and training program only for six days is short. He also appealed to youths who have received a training to share their knowledge to other people too. He also appointed that packaging experts should be consulted to attract more customers. 
Director of Science and Technology Directorate, Homila Hongrei, Master and Director, Dr. L. Dinachandra, and other attended the valedictory event. Altogether, 367 individuals, including 21 women, attended the training program. New eight and eatable items were produced during the training program. <laughs> Skill development I kuna thada ki bo paisa tau ki bo training is di koi mang masule le roi do masagi madu ki tongan ba magi kana bolle ro ba dum masag amali ano mamang da high pi ramba participants ing high pi ramba kari high tar ei koi ki matam ghar saang na tau ningi matam yam ten bani na koi na khang ning ba adi ki high ning ba mayam madu apun phana koi tam jabo pam madu. Angogi hai budu yam sumi adu na matangi koi na program sinu matam da yari makai sang kar sang dera bo tien des kumu ta unu bisin zake adu ga maru ena jiki equipment ni matang da koi gi instructor wobi ba koi tamot on jaun hai gi ba adi koi equipment ni kara war pala gi ba bayam gi ta wu matam da sagi mai gi kari da kitang madu gi nu hai war pa kwar pala gi bayam gi men kena ba koi uju uju maksu I could come in Lumber Gay for plant to Zari. And quite probably, but in a seat, Tambiri Ba, and to go high records of the river Kuding Mona, Sai Sagi Lekaida, Kamina Toroga Masi, I could Tamibo Potu, Miam, Tamukta Toga, I could use skill development in parks and a center of Podas of Utah Dang Louis. Chief Minister Nong Toma Birena flagged off a cycle rally organized as a part of the week long celebration of Ajahn Aushadi Divas 2021 from Chief Ministers of Bangalore today. Eastern Farmer Division, in association with the Manipur Adventure and Mountain Biking Association, organized a rally aimed to spread awareness on Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Ajahn Aushadi Pari Yojana. Social Welfare Minister Okram Henry has launched the new products of ME Food Products at Soibam Laikai Wankai Kuno on March 4. ME Food Products encourage entrepreneurs to relay more on indigenous products for self-reliance. Speaking at the event, Minister Okram Henry appealed to such entrepreneurs to avail the benefits of the Atmar Nibhar Bharat scheme taken by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, which grants loaned up to 25 lakh rupees. People of Moria Town will get safe a drinking water in the near future. Public Health Engineering Department, PHED, Technopol Division, Executive Engineer K. Bisojid has asserted that works are taken by PHED to provide safe a drinking water in Moria Town is almost completed. Media persons have come across that construction of one journal reservoir tank each at the Moria Worth No. 1 and 9 have completed while a full swing construction of settling tanks is currently underway. Laying of water pipes connecting the water pl supply plants is 50% completed. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news and updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Panthoi B Construction Private Limited developing tomorrow presence. Panthoi B Green Homes, a destination of luxury living, equipped with modern amenities. Launching on 12th of April 2021. Pre-register starts from 1st of March to get special discount. Panthoibi Green Homes. For more details, kindly contact Panthoibi Construction Private Limited or report to Rang Bamlaika in fall. Panthoibi Construction Private Limited na miyaong gida mak G plus 2 digi G plus 6 ta upgrade to kraba residential project amak kuk launch tauzer. Apun ba sembam ki 10 pa sembam mak down payment pibi raga lemo riba 90 pa sin aduna chahi da 6.99 pa sin ki chang da tha ki installment basis ta thibi raga payagan. Nga si maleng simbi raho, Panthoibi Construction Private Limited, Asensu Company or Panthoibi Housing Finance Company Limited, Torong Bamlika. Welcome back, you're watching Saturday Primetime English Bulletin, Non-Impact News.
India has recorded a single-day spike of 18,327 in new cases of coronavirus, taking the country's COVID-19 caseload to 1 crore 11 lakh 92,088 in the last 24 hours. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, there are 1,80,304 active cases of COVID-19 in the country. Death toll has reached 1,57,656 with 108 new COVID-19 fatalities. On the positive note, 14,234 people were discharged in the past 24 hours, rising the recovered cases to 1 crore 8,54,128. India's recovery rate stands at 96.98%. Maharashtra has the highest active cases of above 90,000 in the country. Over 1.94 crore people have been vaccinated against coronavirus in the country. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 11 crore 67 lakh 68,000 people, above 2 crore 5 lakh 93,000 people have died, and recoveries are above 9 crore 23 lakh 67,000. USA has the highest active cases above 88,74,000 in the world. China, from where the pandemic started, has only 173 active cases of COVID-19. Manipur reported two new confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Newly infected persons are one each from Imphal West and Noni. As per State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room a press release at 5 p.m. today, Manipur's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 29,288. No dead case has been reported in the last 24 hours. That toll remains at 373. On the positive note, four people have recovered in the last 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases to 28,884. State's recovery rate stands at 98.63%. India Meteorological Department, Regional Meteorological Center of Guwahati, forecast rainfall in some isolated places of Tamenglong, Jidibam, Noni, Sanapati, Kangpokpi, Imphal East, Ukrul, Kamjong, Churachanpur, and Farjol district for the next couple of days. It warns of heavy rain with thunderstorm in Imphal East, Ukrul, Jidibam and Noni. Fairly widespread rains will drench parts of Tangmenglong, Sanapati, Kangpokpi, Ukrul and Jidibam district on March 7. Tangmenglong, Sanapati, Imphal West, Imphal East, Ukrul, Kamjong, Jidibam, Noni and Technopol district on March 8. Tangmenglong, Sanapati, Kangpokpi, Ukrul and Jidibam district on March 9. As per report from ICAR, Agrometrological unit in Lampalpad. Today's highest temperature was 25.9 degrees Celsius and lowest temperature was 13.1 degrees centigrade. Humidity in the morning was 83% and 43% in the afternoon. Precipitation was recorded at 3.2 millimeters. Police continues destroying illegal poppy plantation in the state. A combined team of Technopol District Police and Commando NAB NAB Manipur and NCB destroyed illegal poppy plantation on around 20 acres street of Machi Hill Range under Machi Police Station in Technopol District yesterday. Technopol SP Thokchong Bikramjit and NAB SP Watan Vasu led the combined team. Cookie Students Organization KSO Imphal in association with the Game Village Blocked and Department of Transfusion Medicine RIMS jointly organized a one-day emergency blood donation camp at the Cookie Community Hall in Langol Herborn Beng today. Around 70 persons donated blood in the camp. Speaking at the event, Secretary of KSO Imphal, Lainio Haukip assured that KSO will extend possible aid in times of blood shortage issue at RIMS and Jennings. They are sure to organize such blood donation camps at other areas too. Prize distribution ceremony of a state level panting competition organized by Mami Thawan Foundation was held at the Imperial Hall of Classic Ground in Chingmiro today. The competition categorizes into three groups was held on the theme Aikoigi Pony on February 28. 
MD of Babina Diagnostic, Dr. Thangjam Dabali, MD of Radiant Group, N. Romeo, and Director of Boyo Private Limited, N. Thoitoy, Grace the event. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. T. H. Dabali lamented over the fact that the indigenous breed of pony, which made a name for Manipur in the world, is now at the verge of extinction. He strays on the need to raise awareness among the younger generation to conserve the pony breed. He calls upon the relevant authorities to strive towards rescuing the indigenous pony with sincerity. Pony have a city, retrospectively, young characters who could be new about, especially a great metis society that may have a little bit of a lie in the Tumdi Hong and winner of Padumba, Sam Kalamani. You do Boma City, Noma Nomagi, Pony see, Missing and the Red, who's a key actual figure in Matuna, listing a man, listing any man on the leg, any other man pie, when you put the pony missing. Ado boh masih ni hengkel lagi, hari ini tamat tamat semua mandiri. Sigi sahaja semua mandiri tara kat ini normal ini poni sih koi. Semua ini ayat per lain yang mana boleh sih boh. Nanti nama sah asal juga koi poni sih ubu pengat tapi ayat hari ini koi masih ni mihor orang sih ni lah koi ni seng dana ado gak masih ni against tak? Hari ini mangi kat atas lagi endangered. Tuai rakyat terus mangi kat atas lagi koi kanan apa hong apa sih koi itu. Tahu dah ni. Manipuri short film Panthogi Liklam has backed the jury's special mention a title in the 13th International Guwahati Film Festival at 2021. The 7-minute short film is directed by Rakesh Moirangtem and produced by Suresh Kongban Tabam. Guwahati Cine Club organized a film festival at Guwahati's Ravindra Bhavan from February 27 till March 3rd. Actress Tanthoi gave a rousing performance in the patriotic film. Now the sports news. Chief Minister Nongtoma Birena today distributed martial arts mats to association participating in the upcoming state level chief minister martial arts Manipur. Committee for state level chief minister martial arts Manipur organized event at the indoor stadium of Komanlam Park Sports Complex. Education Minister S. Rajan, Agriculture Minister O. Lukoi, Gaf and PD Minister G. H. Sethabrata, Sekmai MLA H. Dingo, Kairao MLA L. Rameshwar and Committee Convener Mr. India K.S.H. Bhakta Kumar were among those present at the event where Mets were presented to around 40 Thangta associations. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Biren called upon to conserve and promote the ancient art form of the state. Three-day Thangta training program organized by Educational Youth Sports and Cultural Association EYSCA Thaubal kicked off at EYSCA Community Hall Thaubal Ajoba Bazar Makha today. The training program was held to promote a Thangta sport which recognized as an indigenous game under Kelo India by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Indian Government and to award the sport to the upcoming youths. Speaking at the event, Kangabog ex MLA Okram Dandoni said, Thangta dance and music handed down by our forefathers are the pride of the state. Not only this, Thangta dance and music have been guarding us. He added that everyone has a befitting role in preserving our own culture. He also noted the role of EYSCA Thobal in preservation of Thangta sport. President of World Thangta Federation Kam, Grand Master of Thangta Mahikol, Prem Kumar Hidrom, Vice President of Hiel Along Thangta Association Manipur, TH Priyo Kumar, Retired Assistant and Director of Sports Authority of India, Konsam Michael, Founder President of EYSCA, Thobal, Saubam Ningtem, and around 40 girls and boys attended the program.
participatory certificates were distributed to boys and girls who took part in the first coaching camp organized by Dharmapur Social Club Football Academy from December 26th of last year till February 17th of this year. The event was held at the club office building today. Altogether, 73 players, including 7 girls, that took part in the coaching camp for boys and girls between the age of 10 to 15, held at the ground of Sangai Path Sports Authority. Speaking on the occasion, President of Brahmapur Social Club R.K. Darvendra, retired IRS, said, Manipur is leading in football sports in the country. He said, the coaching came aimed to nurture budding footballers right from the grassroots level. Pre-qualifying round matches of the 11th Amfa Senior Women's Football League of BM Singh Trophy will begin from March 7th. ICSA Rengbam, WFA Kakching, Amfa FC Andro, MPSC Police Headquarter, YWC Langthabal and ESU Palace Kampon will be competing in the league matches of, at the Artificial Turf Round in Lamlong, Hong Kong. Press release from the General Secretary of Old Manipur Football Association, Amfa, stated that ICSA Rengbam will be lock horns with ESU Palace Compound in the first match of the league. Cyclone Thangmaiban defeated Trao Kokaitel by 48 runs to cleanse the fifth MNCA W Pralada and W Ramananda cricket tournament. The tournament, sponsored by W Bhaktaras, retired MCAs, was held under AGs of Manipur Cricket Association at Luang Popa Cricket Stadium in Luang Sangbam today. In today's last match, runs in 30 overs with 8 wickets down in the inning. Kishan Lystrom made 32 runs and TH Akshay Kumar made 31 runs. While Atraqua Kaitel's bowler Anand Nawrim took a three wicket and Priyojit Kangabama took two wickets. Responding to which, batting second, Atraqua Kaitel secured 85 and 28 overs and two balls with all 10 wickets down. In this inning, Rahul Rajkumar made 27 runs and Cyclone Thangmiban's bowler Tej Akshay Kumar took three wickets and Kishan Laishrama took two wickets. Cyclone Thangmaiban's all-rounder, Tej Akshay Kumar, was adjudged a player of the match. And before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at the alliance once again. The list defense force observed its 12th raising day. Chief Minister N. B. Rain appeals to stop challenging the government by forming associations. All Tribal Students the Union Manipur Atsam and its affiliated associations warned of economic blockage in demand for issuance of ADC elections notification letters by March 11th. 